It's the evening of May 10th, the first warm night of the spring. We're in the North Burial Ground at the Little Drainage Swale, listening to the Fowler's Toads begin their spring mating chorus. The toads continue to mate throughout the spring, all the way up until the middle of June. And seven days after each mating, you get a new crop of tadpoles. This is an early season shot. You have some really little ones, and a few of them are starting to get a little bigger. With the repeated matings, by the middle of June, there are thousands of tadpoles in the pond. A week later, there are tadpoles of all different stages of development, from no legs to very well developed legs. What you're also seeing is that the tadpoles with the most developed legs are starting to turn the mottled gray of the adult toads. This is about the last shot I was able to shoot into the pond this spring. The vegetation gets too thick. Notice in the center the tadpole has four legs and is adult toad colored. Contrast it with the little black tadpole swimming right next to it. In order to show the anatomy of the developing tadpoles, I had to capture them and put them someplace where I could keep them in focus while I videoed. I started off with a compartment one quarter inch by one quarter inch. They soon outgrew the one quarter inch by one quarter inch compartment and I started videoing in a compartment about one inch square. Once the tadpoles reach about a half inch in length they begin to develop legs. The legs start as a tiny spot right next to the base of the tail. The tadpoles develop at their own individual pace, and because there are so many different nights of mating, at any one time there are tadpoles of all sizes and stages of development in the pond together. You'll see that occasionally in some of these pictures where you get a glimpse of a tadpole very different than the one on the screen. Because of that, this is not a tadpole sequence by date, but it is a tadpole sequence by development.
As the summer warms up, the pace of development seems to go ever faster. In the following pictures, the toad's legs are almost fully developed, and you can see them starting to adopt the color of the adults. The front legs develop very quickly, so quickly that I could not get pictures of their development. But this picture shows a tadpole right before the development of front legs. That white spot behind the head is where they'll come from. Sometime as the tail begins to shrink, the tadpoles develop the ability to live in the air, and at that point they're free to start climbing around. This guy jumped up on my arm all on his own. From this stage of development, there's nothing left to do but for them to hop away from the pond and begin life as an insect eating toad. high summer the tadpoles are gone but I'm looking forward to getting back there next spring <laughs>